Hi everybody, it's Dr. Yami and welcome to Veggie Fit Kids. Today I am with Dr. Mangles, who is a registered dietitian, and I just heard an excellent talk by her here at one of the health conferences that we are at. And I have the opportunity today to ask her a few specific questions that I think may be helpful for you. Dr. Mangles, you have had decades of experience as a registered dietitian working with women and children who are vegan and plant-based. Is it possible for vegan and plant-based women to have a healthy pregnancy? Absolutely. There's no question about it. I mean, first anecdotally, I had two um, healthy, thank goodness, vegan pregnancies. Um, there's nothing specially um, it's, it's important for all women to have a nutritious diet, to eat healthy foods, and I think it's something that vegan women need to be aware of as well, but there are many women who have had successful pregnancies while following a vegan or a plant-based diet. Awesome, I love to hear that. Now I know for all pregnant women, we do recommend take your prenatal vitamin, especially for that folic acid, but are there any special considerations for vegan women, women that are eating a plant-based diet, of supplementation that maybe they should be taking as well? Okay, I think usually um, vegan women can find a vegan prenatal supplement oh. and that will be fine for them. I think the important thing would be to make sure that it does have um, certain key nutrients, that it does have vitamin B12, it does have um, folic acid as you mentioned, it does have iodine which is lacking in some supplements. Um, if a woman feels like my diet's great, I don't really need the supplements, then I would say do take a folic acid supplement, as I think you must have talked mm -hmm. about in other shows. Um, vegan women would need a reliable daily source of vitamin B12, so whether it's a vitamin B12 supplement or choosing to use fortified foods, either of those would be viable options. Then there are a few others not specifically for vegan women. The American Thyroid Association recommends taking an iodine supplement if it's not available in your prenatal supplement. Mm -hmm. And then often um, practitioners, depending on your blood levels, will recommend an iron supplement. Again, not just mm -hmm. because you're vegan, just because you're low in iron. It's a very mm -hmm. common issue. Yeah, that's a really common one. It seems to be in a, a lot of the prenatal vitamins as well. So say a woman isn't plant-based or vegan, mm -hmm but they want to try to be as healthy as they can during their pregnancy and while they're breastfeeding. Are there any specific foods that you would recommend or categories of foods that you would say, let's make sure that we get these in the diet to help the growing fetus in the belly, but also when they're mm -hmm. breastfeeding? Oh, absolutely. There, I'm a huge proponent of fruits and vegetables as just being something that I wish more kids ate more of. And I think if they see really from their earliest age see their parents eating those foods. I think it's important. Mm -hmm. Also, the tastes of the flavors of food actually appears in the amniotic fluid. Mm -hmm. So eating healthy foods gets your child used to the taste of those foods, mm -hmm. even in utero. I just, I think that's so remarkable. So fruits and vegetables, um, whole grains, constipation is a real common problem in pregnancy. So eating more high fiber foods, whole grains, fruits and vegetables, it's a natural way to take care of constipation. I'd like to see everyone, whether they're plant-based or not, eating more dried beans. Again, they're such powerhouses. Mm -hmm. So I would love to see, um, even if you are still um, eating small amounts of meat, trying replacing some of that meat with dried beans. Awesome, yes, beans are one of my favorites. Oh, what about the flip side? What about foods that pregnant women should be avoiding? Oh yes. Well, I think there I'm going to mainly talk from a food safety standpoint. Um, Listeria is an organism that causes a foodborne illness. The mom may not, you may not even know you have it, or you may feel like you have flu or something like that, but it can cause miscarriage and stillbirth. So avoiding foods like raw milk, um, cheeses, soft cheeses, though, would be a problem. Um, deli meats are often um, carriers of the listeria bacteria. So avoiding deli meats, hot dogs, I'd like to see everyone just not eat those, but particularly in pregnancy, that would be important. Um, there are um, sprouts or something that I would advise against eating in pregnancy because they're often contaminated with salmonella. And um, unpasteurized juices and cider 
have been um, found to increase risk of food, born, food poisoning. And women during pregnancy are more susceptible to food poisoning because their immune systems are suppressed a little bit in pregnancy. So staying away from anything that can make you sick and could affect the fetus is really important. Excellent information. Dr. Mangles, I know that you have a few books out there. Do you mind telling us about them so that people can find more information sure. that you have? Sure. One is specifically for pregnancy. It's called the Everything Vegan Pregnancy Book. It has everything about pregnancy, so not Great. just nutrition in it. Um, Simply Vegan is a simple book. Mm -hmm. It's a simple cookbook. I did not do the recipes. My collaborator did very quick and easy recipes. So half the book is these simple recipes, half the book is nutrition information. So Simply Vegan is another book. Um, those would be the two I think are most appropriate. Awesome. Well, I definitely need to get copies of those to have in my office, especially oh, the vegan pregnancy one. Finally, where can people connect with you? Okay, the best place to connect with me is with a nonprofit that I volunteer with. It's called the Vegetarian Resource Group. Our website is VRG, V as in vegetarian, R as in resource, G as in group.org. Send an email to vrg at vrg.org saying it's, you have a question for me. Um, that would get to my attention. Okay. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time today. I, I really enjoyed it. your presentation and the wealth of information that you have to share with us. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you also enjoyed hearing from Dr. Mangles and this was helpful. Please remember to share this video, give me a like, and I will see you in the next one. Have a plantastic day.